I could go back to Yanoka. Given that this uh, quad bike's kind of knackered because there is a feature which is like a ferry, which lets you fast travel. In fact, can I fast travel home? Fast travel home. I need 271 to fast travel that day. Jesus Christ, that's expensive. Okay, I guess we're taking the ferry from Yunoka then. No, oh, I came to the wrong damn pier. It's the other one, on the other side of town. There'll be a guy stood here in, like, a wetsuit-looking thing, and you'll be able to talk to him and pay him to take you to one of the major areas. So I think we can only fast travel to Blavu here. We can't go back up to where we were previously, and I've just driven into a pole because I was in the map. Let's maybe pay attention before I kill myself. Not this one either? Oh, this is annoying. Am I actually going to have to drive all the way back at half speed? I think I am. No. Oh, that smug bastard driving off in his fast car which isn't damaged and can actually reach reasonable speeds. I've tempted to get off and just shoot him, but if I'd got a pistol, that would be a bit of a difficult shot to make. Though you can actually, um, you can actually steal cars. I couldn't really do it in the town I was in because I was, like, on the watch from NATO and I would have just been fired at immediately, but if I come across a vehicle out here, well, there's nobody watching me. I'm probably just going to take it and abandon the quad bike. Okay, I'm entering another town here. Cat, what is that? Cat cooler? Which also has a pier right there. So I'm hoping that I can get a ferry from here up to, uh, up to here. And then I should be able to just walk up the rest of the way, which would be a hell of a lot quicker than going there with this uh, quad bike that's locked at 50% speed. Okay, you know what? I'm done listening to this, uh, this sad, sad engine. That thing's staying there. I'm running the rest of the way. Okay, there we go. There's someone stationary out on the pier, so that would be the ferry. The ferry guy. Shame about the quad bike, but uh, it's just my stupidity for you. Okay. Ferry service to Blavu. Alright, and away we go. We can skip the, uh, the journey by paying double the fee. And you know what? Why not? We don't have all day to be waiting around, and he's just dumped me in the the ocean. Great, thanks. How far away from home am I? No, only 700 meters. I'll head to the outskirts of town and see if I can uh, acquire a vehicle without being shot. That part's the uh, the imperative bit. There's not actually any vehicles here, oddly enough. Not a single person owns a car in this area. I'm pretty sure you can buy vehicles at uh, petrol stations. Can I talk to him through the glass? No. Which is a shame because this door doesn't bloody open. Great. It's not like I needed to be in there or anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, even just a quad bike's way more than what I'm carrying. Okay, guess I'm walking. Oh, there's gunfire. Can't really tell which way it was coming from, though. It was sounding pretty distant. It's up here, perhaps. You know, given that there's a gang camp right next to the town. Oh, yeah, they're running up towards the, uh, the forest there, so... It's probably right in front of me up this way. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it. Should be some free gear for me to take then if people are dead. 
Oh. Well, shit. That's not gonna help. That's definitely not gonna help. Is my source of income gone? And my simple way of reducing stability in that town gone, but there is a quad bike here. Can anybody see me? No, they can't. Do lose reputation in the area you take the vehicle from, but uh, my sanity doesn't care at this point. May have accidentally ran that guy over. Nobody can see me though, so I think I'm okay. Let's just close this door to be safe. Put my money away. Okay, what I think I might do next is take my quad bike up to where the camp used to be and just hoover up a lot of gear. You know, put some guns in the back of this thing to put away. If we pull it next to this body here, and then sort of lay down next to my quad bike. Yeah, I'm invisible. Okay, so let's take his gear. He's got some weed. Alright, okay. Take his gun as well. Let's take his bandana, why not? And on the quad bike we get. There's another one up here. Oh. It's off in that direction somewhere. Let's just let them fight it out. That'll draw military police away from this uh, wonderful equipment I want to steal. It's up at the back of my quad bike and I'll just put everything in here that I don't want to... Uh, don't want to keep on me. And drop the... Stuff in here. Okay. Now I can loot the next body safely. Hmm. Don't know why the weapon's gone off of this body. Take this radio watch and compass. Where'd it go? They do get knocked out of their hands a bit sometimes, but... They're usually right next to the body. No, oh, well. It'll have just been a submachine gun. Okay, empty more stuff into the bag. Don't need all of this stuff. Epinephrine's kind of useless to me if I'm on my own because uh, I can't inject myself with it when I'm unconscious. Who can see me though? No, oh, there's people on the roads watching. And that guy right there, who's limping. Okay, he's not watching quickly. In fact, just take his rig. I'll put it into my bike. Then I can pick up the rig that's on this body with all the stuff in. There we go. And then drop that onto the bike. Oh, it's full, I can't. Uh, I'll just put the arrow in then. And like before, I can just go in and offload all of this straight into the box in my house. So that's a couple of rifles and a lot of ammo. Scavenged with pretty much zero effort. Let's go see if the weapon dealer has a job for me. Anything to start reducing, un reducing the stability around here. Uh, any jobs for me. Kill three NATO within 300 meters and get $75. Well, there's plenty of them around. So, jobs. Ooh, hello. CSAT want us to capture an area. Packing bandages. Is it CSAT traitor? Plasma. Okay, kill NATO to the set waypoint. Is it just this group here? Probably. 
there's a good chance I'm going to die here, but let's just go for it. Oh, in fact, I'm kind of surrounded here, aren't I? Shit. I should probably fall that through. Okay, that's one kill I needed. Let's just get inside this building. Yeah, I probably want to fall back to this stone building. We want something a bit more secure. Or just to maybe, you know, get out of that area because they're kind of circling around me now. Oh fuck, out of ammo. But there's a soldier right in front of me there. Like, not military police, like proper soldiers. Okay, back off. Get back in the building. Okay, I really want his gun. And his vest. Shoot him up the bum a bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just about dead here. But like, seriously, I can't overstate just how much that doesn't make a difference. I'm not carrying any money, and I could just come back and pick my gear up in a sec. Took a shot to the leg there, but I'm fine. Oh. There we go, I took one to the noggin. And we just respawn. And we're fine. So if I just go back to the building I was in, which is a little bit down the road, I can pick up my bag and my vest again and my gun. And there should be that dead soldier. Yeah, right there. And I can just take his stuff whenever there's nobody around. I'll get out of the building so I can take my stuff. Thank you. Still be seen. Let's try laying down. Ah, oh, this is the point where it turns into a clusterfuck. If I just pick up my stuff while they can see me, then I just have to fight them all over again. But hopefully we're okay now. Yep, we're okay. So I take my bag, put my gun back in there, take these things. There, and we're good. But basically back to where we were, only we're alive. I can take some of this stuff. Just quickly put that gun in my bag. Are we okay? Yeah, I think we're okay. We'll take his helmet. Take his ammo. Okay. Now this place is absolutely full of enemies, just because of the uh, gunfights that were going on here earlier. But there are enough enemies around that if we manage to kill them all, that'll probably make this town really unstable. So let's check the map info. 21% stability. There's minus 5 support for the resistance, because I did steal that quad bike. But it's very unstable here. Okay, so I've just had a short break since the last little clip. And, um, after loading back the persistent save, the town's now pretty much empty. And my job's board has vanished. And basically, it doesn't seem to save quite as much as it might suggest it does. Still, all my gear. I just have to remember not to do that before anything big happens, basically. But anyway, that does mean that there's only, like, just this group of two military police here. So we may as well just deal with them while we're, you know, while we've got the chance. Did he actually die? Yes, they're both properly dead. Good. So now his stability's gone down to 12% here. We're very nearly at the point where we can start working on this town. Alright, so there doesn't actually seem to be any other NATO presence around, so we're pretty free to just loot these bodies. Get the guns into our bags. And also, 
as I've been suggested to, making sure to take all of like the maps and things because they're actually pretty useful for making a bit of legal money early on. Just to, you know, support your economy. Oh, I can be seen apparently. So I don't want to take anything from that body. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I keep thinking that the uh, little wooden pillar down the bottom of the path is actually a person. So I just got spotted by that drone taking stuff off one of the bodies. I think I'm okay. But I really need to watch out for that thing if I'm looting. So where have the rest of them got to? Up this way. And go back into the forest. It's a real shame because all of the bodies with all the gear on have now vanished. So that's a couple of assault rifles that we've just lost. I wonder if throwing grenades is illegal. Could I become wanted as soon as I lob the grenade? Yes. Yes is the answer. I got one of them. God, now it's just a matter of spotting this guy through all the trees. I mean, I do have my markers to help me, but... This is gonna be a bloody nightmare. I'm not just getting shot through the forest as well. Which is actually pretty amazing, as far as armor goes. Is he on the move? Yeah, he's moving again. Oh, he doesn't know where I am. Like, I'm not wanted anymore. Let's put this gun away and chase him down. Yeah, there he is. He took some shrapnel to his arm by the looks of things. Alright, well, let's uh, finish him off, I suppose. Did that get him? No. Is he coming back? Oh. Damn. That was close. Got shot in the leg. Let's just bandage that up. Are we good? Yeah, let's just morphine up a bit. Good as new. We got a vector. You know if I can actually pick it up. Here we go. Get that out of my bag. And the other one's dead down there. Let's just make sure he didn't have anything valuable enough to take. There he is. Another vector. Got room for it, perfect. Let's see, what am I carrying? I can get rid of. I don't want these military camps. I just want to make room for ammo, basically. I'll throw out this rhino. I played around with that for a little bit, and it's actually a lot worse than you'd think. Like, really, really bad. Okay, that'll do. Now just to get home and offload the spoils of war. And as far as stability goes, only 5% left. Oh, that dump everything command's really, really useful. So I've just basically emptied my inventory of everything other than my pistol. So I could just pretty much pick up my vest and my bag. No, that one. There we go, and then we're good to go. In fact, you probably want a spare magazine or two. And the reason I'm using uh, this page instead of the Ace Arsenal is because with the Arsenal you seem to be able to pull like unlimited numbers of things. Which is a bit cheaty, so I know it's inconvenient, but I'm just going to be using the box's inventory. Alright, let's see if this guy has another job for me at all. If he'll, you know, even talk to me. There we go. Ah, oh, okay, so we're getting a, uh, a scouting mission. So basically what this will do is we'll go over to this base here, and then just walk around the edge and use our binoculars to scout in. The only problem is that I found with these jobs is that you can never actually 
see everything without going into the restricted area. So I may as well just wait until I'm actually attacking that base to do that recon objective, which is weird, but it'd be a waste of time to try and do it now. So apparently I can be seen by NATO, but there's nobody around. Oh, it's probably just the daughter again. <laughs> 